Welcome Taurus to your in-depth weekly horoscope for week commencing the 4th of September for the Sun or the Ascendant. Monday is a very powerful day. Venus ends a six-week retrograde in a very tender part of your situation which may have seen you feel quite sentimental about all sorts of relationships or making some decorative changes to where you live or perhaps reimagining exactly where to live in total, actually thinking of moving. But also on Monday, Jupiter, the planet of fortune and growth in your sign, goes into a retrograde which lasts through to the end of the year. Jupiter is a big planet, so when it slows down, it does have an impact. But the thing with Jupiter, Jupiter is a very exuberant influence, and it's at times a little bit overconfident. But in your sign, you host it in a more stable way, which makes Jupiter more realistic. But despite the retrograde, Jupiter is still going to be forging a fantastic link this week to Mercury. So these are the two planets of trade and commerce collaborating. They may be in retrograde, but that would suggest that something that you had visited in the past could come back into sharp focus, or you could look at a situation in a fresh way and find a solution. Also on Wednesday, there is a Mercury Kazemi. This inferior conjunction, where as we see it from planet Earth, Mercury looks like it's retrograding and sits in the disk of the Sun, the Sun magnifies the brilliance of Mercury. But in the fifth house, this is where you can shine. It may be in the host sign of Virgo, which is very much about practicality, details, being very realistic. But the fifth house is a very, very warm and affectionate location for this combination to occur. So again, don't just feel because Jupiter is retrograde that this is going to render this only a time of contraction. Because later this week, the Sun and Jupiter come on Friday into an exact trine. This is one of the most fortunate planetary aspects of 120 degrees and is very enabling. So what I take from this really is the energy of the sign of Virgo is about precision. It is about being very thorough, uh, grappling with details. Your sign also has a great appreciation of money, of comforts, sensuality, but also security. And I think Jupiter slowing down is essentially saying to you, if you have been trying some things that haven't quite worked out, that doesn't mean to say that the rest of this year is a write-off. Jupiter is going to be with you through to the 26th of May, 2024. It's also going to give you a reward on the 23rd of May next year, when it's alongside Venus, your ruler, in a, an exact conjunction. So keep working at the things that you're exploring, particularly if you're trying to get a new business off the ground. You're uh, demonstrating your creative or artistic talents. You might not necessarily get all the plaudits or recognition you want at this time, but this is a period when you need to dig in. Retrogrades can help us to rethink, but also in terms of Jupiter's case, to think, I think, much more about its spiritual dimension, which comes through its rulership of the sign of Pisces. Its reputation for growth, luck and optimism comes through its rulership of Sagittarius. So if it slows down in your sign, perhaps your philosophies are the things that need revisiting. And if you are someone who does like a little bit of a flutter, just be aware that Venus and Jupiter are still in a right angle this week, which could bring a little bit of fortune. The only thing I would say is there is a quarter moon on Wednesday in the sign of Gemini, which of course is also governed by Mercury. So that five second square suggests that somebody close to you may uh, want some kind of support from you. And the fifth house is very much to do with love and affection. And it may be very difficult for you to put in place some kind of boundary uh, to stop them always thinking that you're going to bail them out. But another possibility is that you could feel a bit more impulsive about splashing some cash, particularly with Venus and Jupiter in the square. So that's fine. If you can enjoy it and you can afford it, why not? But generally at the moment, you're being asked to be very enterprising. 
using f a balance of flair and creativity in your sign matched with thoroughness, passion and determination coming through the sign of Virgo. And just because Mercury is retrograde and Jupiter is retrograde, don't see this as a week that doesn't give you possibilities because it most certainly does. Now, I'd just like to remind you that you can watch your year 2024 deep dive forecast by clicking on the link beneath this video. And also, if you want to take advantage of my very special opportunity to order your year 2024 personal forecast now, based on your unique birth data, no two charts are the same, and you can get 30% off and your personal character analysis or life roadmap to gain a more intimate understanding of your life patterns, please see the link beneath this video too. Thank you.